Uh, the next speaker is uh, Whitney Ong. Uh, please uh, come and set up your presentation. So she will tell a story of, um, she will instruct us what to do if the molecule of consideration has too many orbitals, but we still want to look at them and characterize them in, uh, in average. How to visualize and represent so many orbitals at once. What is yours? Uh, so hi, I'm Whitney. I'll be talking about how to get all of your density states um, and represent them into a graph. Um, how to generate a graph, Aaron will talk about it later. So um, let's go through with um, what how, what's the density of states mean. So in general, density of states um, is the system that de describes the number of states per interval energy at the each energy level that are available to be accepted by, occupied by electrons. Um, a high density of states at a specific energy level means that there are more states available for occupation of uh, electrons. Um, a high density of states at a specific energy level means that there are more states available for occupation of uh, electrons. So um, the script is here. Uh, Pearl is just to find where the script is. The bin is where uh, the place where you keep your script. And then the uh, Gauss gap and DOS version 2 dot PL is the script name. And then put your file, you have to put a space after that. And then um, your file name, out, uh, output file name. And then you put your number of steps, the bandwidth, uh, how many electron volts down from the HOMO and how many electron volts up from the HOMO. So these are the variables that you can use. So usually um, steps in calculations are, I use 1000. Um, bandwidth, you can use anywhere from 0.05 to 0.1 electron volt. Uh, and then if you put like a for example, if I put five electron volts, then it will calculate from the formal five electron volts, it will just show in a graph, five, only five. If you put 10, then it will show more. Same go for the Lumo. Five from where your Lumo starts and go. This, um, this plot is not normalized. You can normalize it, but it's a different kind of script. Script, I guess. So for example, if you, Insert this into your command window. Um, that will be your output file name and dot log, which is your output file extension. And then 1000 will be the steps, and 0 0.1 will be your bandwidth. 5 would be down from your homo, and 5 will be up from your lumo. And then this thing will be generated. So, um, and then you can see that. You can see, you can make sure that, okay, what's your output file name, what's your energy step, what's your bandwidth, and you can see whatever you have input into this command. And from that, you can also look at your um, whole energy level in electron volts and normal energy level and energy in electron volts here. And you can also look at the gap between them without having to calculate it manually. The computer does it for you, which is over here. Yeah. And you, you can also look at the gap center, where it, the, the real gap center in an electron form. I think that's it. <laughs>